Hello and welcome to our first video on designing for accessibility and online learning. In this series of videos, we'll explore some simple ways that you can plan ahead to address common accessibility concerns for learners with disabilities. In doing so, you're more likely to improve the course experience for all your students and less likely to adapt or change course materials once the course begins. In this series of videos, we're assuming you have a course already and you're looking to put it rapidly online. This video will provide you with basic strategies for making Word and PDF documents more accessible for students who use assistive reading devices. Planning ahead for accessibility benefits all students in the course and can save you time because materials are already in an accessible format. For example, when you make Word and PDF documents accessible for students who use assistive text-to-speech or other reading devices, you'll help any student who needs to listen to a text when reading isn't an option. And you'll also support students who have a personal preference for learning information through audio over text. Let's begin by looking how to make Word documents more accessible. One of the simplest ways to make any Word document more accessible is to use the formatting tools found in the Home toolbar. Students using assistive reading devices rely on document formatting to navigate quickly through the document by, for example, moving from one heading to the next or to quickly move through a bulleted list of information. In the syllabus example, a student looking to find out more about the course requirements and grading policy can move easily through each heading to find that section. Without the use of headings, the reading device has to read through all of the text in the document in order for the student to find this section on course requirements. Likewise, if a student wanted to find out more about what was happening in Topic 4, they could navigate there very quickly by moving through the next level of headings. Another important formatting technique is to avoid relying only on bold, color, or underlines for emphasis, because assistive reading devices can't convey this. Instead, use a few additional words, such as, it is important to understand, to help students understand where emphasis lies in the document. You can also make one small change on how you include web links in your documents. Avoid using text such as here or click here to describe a web link. Instead, use text that actually describes where the link goes. This is particularly helpful if you have multiple web links in a document. An assistive reading device looking for web links in a document reads aloud the text of the link. So if you have several links with the same name, such as click here, it won't indicate to the student where the web link goes. Another simple way to increase accessibility in Word documents is to add alternative descriptions to images and figures. You can do this easily by right-clicking on an image, selecting Alt Text, and filling out information in the menu that appears. You can also mark an image as decorative, which lets a reading device know that it can simply skip over the image because it's not important to students' learning. In some cases, the document will actually generate a description for you. Use tables, charts, and graphs sparingly in any type of digital media you create because they can be difficult for assistive reading devices to navigate. If using a table in Word, be sure to always select the header row option from the table layout menu. And if you're using charts and figures, be sure to provide a rich alternative description of their content so that students can understand their purpose and the information they convey without actually being able to see the chart. Lastly, don't forget to use the built-in accessibility checker in Word. To access it, simply go to the Review tab, and on the menu that appears, click Check Accessibility. The accessibility checker will then scan your document and make suggestions for how you can make the document more accessible. In this case, it's telling us that we need to include some alternative text for this image. It'll walk you through how to fix the object, and then you can simply make changes and save them. It's also telling me that there's some issues with this table that I might want to look into further. It tells you why it needs to be fixed and how to go ahead and fix it. Now that you know some simple trips for making Word documents more accessible, let's talk about how to ensure your PDFs have similar attributes. Most of us will not have access to professional PDF creation software such as Adobe Acrobat Pro, so this video will focus on how to convert Word documents into PDFs so that the accessibility features you put in your Word documents also appear in your PDFs. In fact, one of the easiest ways to create a more accessible PDF is to first create it in Word using all of the tools we've just discussed and then ensure you use the right settings when exporting it or saving it as a PDF. Let's take a look at how to do this. To save your accessible Word documents as an accessible PDF in Windows, begin by taking the usual steps you would to save a PDF. 
But before saving, click on the Options button and then on the new menu that appears, make sure that the Document Structured Tags for Accessibility option is selected. From there, hit OK and then save on your main menu. To save your accessible Word document as an accessible PDF on a Mac, begin by taking the usual step you would to save a PDF. And then below that, make sure that Best for Electronic Distribution and Accessibility is selected as an option. Then export as a PDF as you normally would. Converting a Word document to a PDF using either one of these tools will help that the accessibility features in your original Word document are captured in the PDF. However, PDFs can still be tricky for some assistive reading devices to read without professional editing, so we recommend that you still provide a copy of your original Word document when possible in case students need to refer to it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on making Word and PDF documents more accessible to your students. Our next video will examine how to support learners through the use of video description.